New tonight, Tom Swazi sworn in as a congressman once again, demanding that his fellow lawmakers put aside politics and end the chaos that is hurting the American people. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer is in Washington tonight. Tom Swazi brought his own local cheering section to Congress. About a hundred people from Long Island who were shouting, Swazi, 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 as he called for harmony and for people to work across the aisle. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States? I do. Congratulations. <laughs> It was the second time Tom Swazi took the oath of office to become a congressman, but probably the first time he bluntly confronted members of Congress to cast aside the dysfunction and, as he said, wake up. Swazi was warmly embraced by House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, no doubt hoping that Swazi is not the last New York Democrat to flip a seat from red to blue. Swazi's message was pointed. Well, I may be the only one being sworn in today. What if we all see this as a fresh start? What if we all took this chance to break some of our bad habits? What if today we remembered why we ran for office in the first place? Let's get back into the solutions business. As Swazi posed for formal pictures with House Speaker Mike Johnson, there was no mention of the bitter special election with Mozzie Pillip and certainly no mention of the man he replaced, George Santos. But he did talk about the concerns of his constituents and all Americans. People are worried about the cost of living. They're worried about the chaos at the border. They're worried about Israel, Gaza, and Ukraine. They look to Congress, and what do they see? The extremists get all the attention. We're letting ourselves be bullied by our base. We aren't getting anything done. And with the migrant crisis, a problem not only in New York but around the country, Swazi called for both sides to put aside politics and solve the problem. I know compromise is hard in this town, Mr. Speaker. But bring a bipartisan compromise to the floor, and I guarantee it will pass. Tom Swazi is going to have to run again in November, but he's going to have a far, far easier time. That's because the redistricting bill passed in Albany gives him a whole lot more Democrats. In Washington, I'm Marsha Kramer, CBS 2 News. And Marsha will be sitting down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with Congressman Swazi. Look for that story tomorrow right here on CBS 2.